We're really fortunate to have clear touch boards in all of our classrooms. Um, so I use this in the library. The one that I use actually has the capability of um, flipping on its side. So we can use it as a collaborative table, which is really great. And I use that all the time during like open time in the Learning Center for students to collaborate and play and work together. I'm Kim Heilenbach. I also teach at Sunset Ridge School in Northfield. I'm the computer science teacher. We're a fourth through eighth school, so we have kind of late elementary to middle school. So this is what Snowflake looks like right when you open it. There are so many things you can do with this. So we'll just kind of scratch the surface and show you some of the things that we use all the time on a daily basis. One thing that I love to use all the time is the zones feature where you can split the board into two or four different sections and have your students doing different things all at the same time. Um, this is awesome. And there's a brand new feature we just learned about actually where you can save the different um, apps that you have open in every zone as a certain layout. If you have a lesson where you want students to be um, reading an article or watching a video on one side and then the other side is used as a canvas for taking notes, you can do that, which is great. And you can have this all ready to go, open it up really easy. Here's an example of their mind mapping software where kids can come up read an article on one side and collaborate together on the other side. And remember, it's 10 points of touch, so a bunch of kids can be working on this at one time, which is really cool to see. This is a lesson that was just called Characters in Wizard of Oz, and it tells you all of the different ways that you can edit this game, but it also tells you the one that you most recently used. So I'm going to pick um, a range. I'm going to range them in order. And then it lets you edit the content. So if I don't want Toto anymore, I can click my keyboard. Under lesson information, you could actually paste a YouTube video URL in here and you can tell the stop, start and end point of it. So maybe um, I'm doing just a short clip of a Dr. Seuss video. I can choose my start and end point and then you can choose if you show it before the lesson starts or if you do it during the lesson. So if I click this, once I click play, it will automatically play my video for when I start the lesson with the class. It saves a lot of work on the teacher side, which is really nice. You can use the spotlight feature, just show certain parts of the board at a time, and then move around to other parts of the board so that we have our attention focused on one thing at a time. That's just a really awesome, easy tool that I love and use a lot to be able to share and see what other teachers are doing with this technology. It's just really inspiring. How did this change the way your kids interact with you in the classroom? Well, I think more so than interacting with us, I think it gave them a better chance to interact with each other. So we're one-to-one -one Chromebooks, but even having kids, you know, surrounded by one screen or going on slides, you know, across the room, they're still not next to each other, talking to each other without it right in front of their face. And with the clear touch panel, especially when you lay it flat, it gives a circle. I mean, what better shape for education than the kids being in a circle and talking with each other and interacting with each other. This is such a, a kid-friendly tool, Snowflake especially. Um, anytime I have it open, like sometimes I'll just open a game or something during recess, they always are so inquisitive about it and just like automatically will open up other things and start playing around and drawing with each other. and writing. Um, I just feel like it really encourages them to be creative and ask questions, not just to me, but to each other, which is really fantastic.